and Jeff Huber, and I've asked a few key voices around our region to share about what they're doing with high school students to invite them in to uh, own ministry, grow deeper in Christ uh, from basically the camp season on. And this set of clips hopefully provides a diverse viewpoint of what we're doing to follow up after camp and have a plan for where we're taking and developing students, both to grow in Christ and to reach out to their peers. So enjoy. You're at camp with kids. You've been together all week. You've had meals together. You've had cabin time. Uh, usually at the end of the week, they have an area meeting. Great time to say, hey kids, here's the plan once we go back home. Uh, maybe you bring some materials with you. Like this one. This was what, I used this wild questions last year with wildlife kids after breakaway. Every week we'd sit down and we'd roll the dice like this thing has and they get to answer the question for the number they rolled. And it was a great way to get them to go a little deeper. They all said yes, they want to know more about Jesus. So that's this is the tool we use to figure out that out. We did that every week after camp and then every week going into the school year. So following up with them going into the year, it got them excited. We still hang out every week. So awesome. And lots of other cabin time continue. There's lots of other resources that you could have with you to hand to kids while you're still at camp. I think one of the other things, maybe more than anything, before they get off that bus to go home, have some kind of a plan for another get together soon. You know, um, we always say try to contact kids 20, within 24 hours of getting home from camp, just so they're not just isolated, lost, back in their regular world. Have some kind of a plan for a barbecue. It doesn't have to be a huge ordeal, just something to get back together to kind of keep that momentum going. When we come back from camp, we'll just continue with campaigners. Uh, there's a few places here in Connell and in Othello that have swimming pools that are gonna, they're just uh, adults in the community who are willing to let us bring a bunch of teenagers and just hang out. Um, so that's gonna be really fun as, as well as just like other um, adventures and activities, playing soccer or whatnot just here. Um, the hope is that once the boys and the girls are together, we'll start at the same time, eat, hang out, and then kind of just, um, separate with the actual reading scripture um, with the Lecto Divina method which is reading it um, slowly three times uh, and then asking uh, kids to uh, hear a specific word that pops out um, like a full phrase or a sentence uh, and then also or what do they see as they as they read it, read it and as they just listen um, then they get to write it in their thread journal. We get to share afterwards and then the, the just so that kids are able to share other things, especially in like prayer portion. Uh, and then hopefully as they just get more comfortable, we'll be able to um, group them together and be able to do other things. One of the things we focus on every year after camp's over, maintaining a relationship with the students. So that includes hanging out with them afterwards, spending time with them, encouraging them, calling, texting, just do whatever we can to be in their lives. My summer strategy um, is to grab these group of fat kids that were at our club all year, basically the people, the kids that kept showing up and meet with them weekly or every other week this summer um, and just give them a vision for their school and for one another um, and just love on them and just do some fun events over the summer and um, and that includes those girls that I'm gonna take to summer camp as well so and we will be at camp the beginning of the summer so it'll be an, a perfect opportunity to go the entire summer with these kids um, and hopefully starting in September we will be able to have a solid foundation of kids and relationships and, and leadership um, and go from there Hey friends, talking about young life or wildlife, uh, whatever your ministry context is, so the first kind of three weeks leading up to club kickoff in September, in the fall, um, we meet with our student leadership team and with our adult leadership team and we start pulling back the curtain and talking about why we do what we do at Young Life Club and pulling our whole team around the shared vision of the wise. Cass and I, just this past year, we started a new initiative called Student Crew. Wow. It's getting these students together from these different schools uh, meeting together at least kind of once a month, doing breakfast, and then kind of having some time to powwow, uh, talk about each other's schools, the things that are going on, the differences between their schools, and coming together and realizing that there are the differences 
maybe aren't as big as they think. What we're finding is these students are just hungry to talk about their schools and hungry to talk about their friends and find ways where they can actually be natural leaders for Jesus and his kingdom in their respective friend groups, sports, like athletic teams, club. And really the whole goal for Student Crew is how are we equipping these students to be leaders for Jesus. Really starting out the year um, in a foundation of the Strength Finders test. Um, so really encouraging the students to look introspectively and identify those strengths in themselves that they've been gifted with and been blessed with um, and to know how to use those in a servant and leadership way in all of their different communities and groups. We work together and call out those in each other so that we can um, continue to build this huge community of just servant leaders all in um, across the three schools specifically in North Spokane that we're focusing on right now. Um, and again, the end goal is not to just invite everyone to Young Life, that would be awesome, but to really serve them into their schools and their school walls. We started off the beginning of the year with one student. We ended it off this year with about 15. I believe that's a celebration. We're gonna focus mostly on building relationships, being relational with them, letting them know that we care. But our hope is that by the fall, focus on uh, contact work and just to be able to build um, on the kids that they do have to be able to start um, by the end of the fall um, club on their own, which will be really, really great. Right now, just use what we have, which are these um, students who've been involved, who are growing deeper with Jesus and want to be able to serve um, in a bigger way, which is gonna be really great. We're gonna focus on those juniors and seniors who've been involved um, since middle school um, to restart wildlife. One of the first meeting that we conduct, we, um, we invite our student leadership team. We don't split it up into seniors and juniors, that sort of thing, but we bring kind of everyone who's expressed an interest in student leadership. So we self-select and we invite kids to fill out a, a student leadership application. Uh, but then that word gets out and other kids are interested and we like that and we want kids to show up at this first initial meeting. Uh, so we have this initial meeting and we explain the whys and the roles and kind of what we do at Young Life. We're gonna expect them to be on time. We're gonna expect them to not miss um, within great reason, but we're, you know, we're gonna expect them to be faithful and showing up, faithful and being prepared. Um, and a lot of our kids that express interest, um, at least locally, um, are kids that are committed to lots of sports and they're the typical extroverted kid. Um, they're not all of that, which is really important. But we want to talk to the kids that are that are kind of the, well, the ones running ASB and doing sports. Um, that st sometimes student leadership might not be the thing for them. Um, that it's gonna we're gonna challenge them spiritually. We're gonna hold them to a high bar spiritually. We're gonna hold them to a high bar of relationally showing up, uh, being about you know integrity. All these things are really gonna matter. Um, and so give them a kind of, kind of an opt out. Say you know. We still want them to be involved. We still want them to be um, in, invitational. We still want them to hype young life, you know, um, within their own circles of influence. But, you know, we're going to hold student leaders to a high standard. It's really important to say that. Uh, the second Monday of club, we that group is maybe a little bit smaller, but we're continuing to, to jump into the reasons, the power of the invitation, um, how Young Life really only works uh, because somebody invited you. It's not about a social media presence. It's not about a poster that's hung up at school. It's not about a Young Life t-shirt. It's about the power of an invitation and helping kids identify the circles that they have influence over and even asking the question, who's not at club? And why are they not at club? And just to be aware of it and why aren't they? And how can we be intentional about moving towards those kids? Um, so the power of relationship, that's kind of our second Monday. And then the third Monday is kind of the walkthrough. We actually will sometimes do like a practice club and we will walk through where kids should be sitting, where you should be hanging out at 715. Club kicks off at 729 for us, that we're not all just powwow and in the club room, that we're out hanging out, playing yard games. We're the hosts of the party. Uh, we're showing, our, we've got hospitality. Um, and then just kind of all these different roles, walking through the welcome, walking through where kids are sitting, that we're all not bunched up at the front. Um, just a lot of great, like, why you're doing, why you're engaged, um, what mixers are all about, what upfront games are all about, what songs are all about. It's about creating participation so that kids would participate throughout the night and they might participate with the club talk, but they might press in and participate with our Savior.